Vizzy has some strong and powerful surfacing skills and in this video we're going to show some examples showing this. So in this area as you can see we have two holes and we're going to just kind of separate it out so you can see those holes a little bit better. So with the double sheet shading options I can use that to show the inside and the outside of my part. So now with auto constrain I'm going to select these edges and in this I'm going to start filling in these surfaces. So I'll do the same thing on the other one, pick the edge, and I'm going to wrap it all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And from here, right now it is currently a sheet, but I can use the close to a solid command, and it will actually close it into a solid for me. In this example, I'm going to show how you can get the same result with multiple different surfacing commands. So I'm going to start it with lofted in two directions where I pick my corners and it builds a surface for me. Now I'm going to go into what I would call tangent patch, which I select those same corners. I select the corners from the opposite side and it builds my surface. Lastly, I'm going to use the auto constraint command, where I hover a window over the entire piece and it selects those as well. With the auto constraint command, I can use multiple different surfacing techniques, so I can choose what surfacing technique I'm going to use. For example, lofted surface, tangent patch, insided patch, and more. Now we're going to run into some scenarios that auto constraint may not necessarily be the best surfacing technique for us. So I'm going to start out by trying to select these edges of my piece, and as you can see, it doesn't work. So then I will draw some curvature geometry around those edges. So just to see if that works. So I build some wireframe geometry around it and then I'm going to concatenate that wireframe geometry turning it into one curve followed by using the auto constraint command again. And as you can see it does build a surface but it may not necessarily be the best surface. So as you can see the only option I have is inside a patch. So I'm going to go ahead and use a different command. This is called capping surface. It's more of an advanced command for surfacing, but as you can see, I select my boundary, which are the curves, the same curves I select with auto constraint, and it builds kind of a mesh type of material where it's building my surface, so when I actually confirm it, it creates a nice smooth transitional surface.